been ongoing for a number of sessions already and uh, nakikita po namin na napaka-beneficial po in uh, giving us uh, guidance, especially during these times. Uh, this afternoon, uh, we have invited our partners from GCCM. No? Welcome po, Father John, Father Sister Bing, no? and thank you for uh, uh, giving us your time and we look forward to your presentation uh, this afternoon. So, magsimula po tayo with a simple prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us life. Thank you for giving us uh, this beautiful world. Thank you that uh, you have allowed us to gather this afternoon to share about uh, how we are about to take care of our common home. And as we journey uh, into the future, especially uh, after this post-quarantine uh, period, we pray that uh, we are able to transition and, and be, uh, be better for it and learn from the lessons uh, of the past three months. And so we pray for our session this afternoon. We pray for our presenters, Father John and Sister Bing, and for all of us to listen, listen well, so that uh, these words may find a meaning in our heart and uh, it may also move us towards uh, collective action. So again, Lord, I that uh, brothers and sisters from Mindanao and the Visayas and other parts of Luzon are joining us here in this uh, national conversation. Thank you, and uh, we praise and thank you for all the blessings, and we welcome the Holy Spirit to be with us for this afternoon session. And all this we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 The Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to Mole and good afternoon, Salahat. Amen. Thank you very much, Brother Roquel. And uh, true enough, Laiko has uh, conducted already six uh, sessions, the series of which uh, was entitled Post Quarantine Conversations, uh, handling various topics. Today is unique in the sense that it is the first of another series of uh, conversations, and uh, these are called the Seasons of Creation Conversations. For today, our uh, topic is uh, journeying together towards the care for our com common home. And uh, for our uh, opening message, let us all uh, welcome ang napakasipag araw-araw, parang uh, laging merong uh, something uh, special, something big going on, uh, ang uh, hindi napapagod. <laughs> uh, at laging may mensahe. Uh, the uh, Apostolic Administrator of the Archdiocese of Manila, uh, let's all welcome Bishop Broderick Pabilio. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po sa inyong patuloy na pagdalo no, dito sa ating mga conversations na ito. At ito po ay mahalaga upang malaman natin ang mga nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran. Uh, habang tayo po ay nababahala sa mga immediate na mga problema natin tulad ng hindi tayo makakalabas, na dyan palagi yung threat. No, na magkasakit, yung virus, na dyan problema sa pagtratrabaho o hanap buhay. So habang nababahala tayo rito, huwag po natin kalimutan na may mga issues pa rin, may mga usapin pa rin na malawak na kailangan din nating tugunan. Kasi ito po ay humaharap din sa atin. At yan nga po ang isa dyan ay ang ating climate. No, kung nababalitaan niyo po, Nung last uh, mga few months ago, may problema po ng low-cost inflation sa Africa. Napakarami pong mga African countries affected ng invasion ng low-costs. No, at yan po'y kinakain nila ang mga pagkain, kaya may problema sa food security. Ngayon naman po, na babalitaan natin na ito po'y nag-transfer na sa South America. No, at doon din nababahala sila sa Argentina, so Uruguay, so sa Paraguay, no dahil sa pagdating po ng mga locos na kapag dumating ay kasing laki ng area na cover nila ng isang lunsod. At sa isang araw lang ang nakakain nila 
ng mga pagkain ng mga tao sa loob ng isang buwan. At alam po natin itong invasion ng mga locos is very much connected with the climate change. The warmer our climate becomes, then the, uh, the faster will be the breeding of many insects. Isa na nga dyan, itong mga locos na ito. No, kaya talagang, talagang nababahala tayo sa ganitong pangyayari. No, kaya mga, mga kapatid, uh, sa ating pag-uusap ngayon, Pag-usapan natin, anong pwede natin gawin? Not only to know the problems, but also to do something about it. At yan po, mayroon po tayong season of creation mula nung September 1 hanggang October 4 kung kailan na mas pinagninilayan, ipinagdarasal, at kumikilos po tayo sa pangangalaga ng ating uh, kapaligiran ng ating climate. Kaya ngayon po ay hayaan natin ang GCCCM na magbigay sa atin ng mga ideas. Mayroon pa tayong ilang buwan bago mag-season of creation. Pero magandang na iniisip na rin natin at kumikilos na rin tayo. Kasi kung hindi po tayo magbabago, ay patuloy po ang pagkasira ng ating kalikasan. Kaya welcome po sa ating pag-uusap ngayon at sana po mas maging interested tayo at ang ating napakinggan, naintindihan ay ating ibigay din sa iba, ipaabot sa iba. Maraming salamat po, uh, Bishop uh, Pabilio. And uh, now let's uh, all uh, recognize yung, uh, the man behind all of these uh, Zoom sessions, Brother June Cruz. This season of creation is brought to you by... Kanda ka po po sa inyong lahat. Uh, Una muna po, babatiin natin si Dr. Belen Tanko na siya naman talagang nag sponsor nito. Dr. Belen, maraming salamat, Catholic Teachers Guild. Um, sinadya po niya na talagang tumulong para mapalaganap itong mga Zoom conversations natin through Zoom. Thank you, Dr. At, at gusto rin po nating batiin unang-una from the Archdiocese of Cebu, okay, si Father Murphy Sarsonas. Kaya po binabati sapagkat yung Archdiocese of Cebu po, ang, ang kauna-unang diocese naman po who conducted who conducted in this Climate Emergency Archdiocese Conference on Climate Emergency na palagay ko ay magkakatulungan sila ng ating mga guests ngayon. Marami po tayong mga dioceses na sumasama. Nandito nga po ang Archdiocese of Cebu, nandito ang Archdiocese of Palo, nandito po ang uh, uh, Diocese of San Pablo, ang Diocese of Ligaspi, okay? at Diocese, uh, Archdiocese of San Fernando, Pampanga, at marami pa pong ibang mga dioceses na Uh, pinanggalingan po ng aming mga LICO board members. May mga lay leaders din po na nandito ngayon kahit nagpapasalamat po kami sapagat napakahalaga po nitong topic natin, the season of creation. Hindi ko na po pagtatagalin at uh, na gusto ko po sana kasing mabigyan ng tamang oras ang ating mga presenters sa hapong ito. Uh, we are very pleased that, to inform you that the Holy Father announced that this year will be a special anniversary anniversary year of the Laudato Si, which started May 24, 2020, and for one year, it will last until May 24, 2021. And one of the main events of this whole uh, prep, uh, year, anniversary year, is the preparation of the church for the season of creation. Papaliwanag po ni Father John Laydon mamaya, ano yung season of creation na yan? And at the forefront of this preparation, in the Philippines, and all over the world, is the Global Catholic Climate Movement. The Global Catholic Climate Movement is a global, okay, global grassroots movement of Catholics committed to living out the message of Laudato Si on the care of our common home. At meron po silang isang malakas na grupo dito sa Pilipinas, ang GCCM Pilipinas. And this afternoon, we, we are privileged to have Their chairperson, Father John Laydon, MSSC, Missionary Society of St. Columban, who is also the parish priest of Our Lady of, the, of Remedies in Malate. And he will be speaking about the season of creation and what they are doing. Um, si Brother John po, inibita rin natin, is also a lay Columban, medyo hindi lang po nag... Uh, Masuk yung schedule niya ngayon, but she, he will be also represented 
by another very active member of the global Catholic climate movement, si Sister Elizabeth Bing Caranza TST. Ibig sabihin po nun, Terra Sisters of the Trinity. Yung po yung congregation nila. Terra Sisters of the Trinity. And then formerly a chairperson of the Save Sierra Madre Network Alliances. She will also speak about the preparations and the things that we can do on the Sundays of the season of creation. Nagpapasalamat na ako ngayon pa sa pakikinig ninyo. Ito po ay live sa CBCP News FB page. So pagkatapos po nito, yung mga nasa dioceses, pwede po nyo itong ulitin. And i-announce ko na rin, kontakin ninyo si Father John, si Sister Bing, sapagkat pwede nyo silang imbitahin via Zoom. O, oh, in-announce na. <laughs> via Zoom. Para naman magsalta sa diocese ninyo. Para mapalaganap natin itong season of creation. Thank you very much. Uh, I've taken so much of your time. But I would like to introduce Father John Laydon, MMSC, Chairperson of the Global Catholic Climate Movement. Salamat, Brother Mars. Go ahead, Father John. Good afternoon, uh, Mars, and good afternoon, Laiko. Afternoon, uh, Bishop Abilio, also. Father and John. You, yes? At, uh, ask ko po muna si Brother Mars to make me as a co-host so I can show our presentation sa screen. Oh, okay. I cannot do that if I'm not a co-host po, Brother Mars. Okay lang. Uh, yes, yes. One moment. Maputi may mga Czechies tayo dito. <laughs> so, uh, kanina, my, my computer collapsed. Can you share your screen already? Okay na po. Yes. Okay. Okay, we, we'll start with an opening prayer, which is the opening prayer for the season of creation this year. Can people hear me? Yes, yes Father. Yes. yes, Father. Okay, good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Creator of life, at your word, earth brought forth plants yielding seeds, and every kind of fruit-bearing trees. The rivers, mountains, minerals, seas, and forests sustained life. The eyes of all look to you to satisfy the needs of every living being. And throughout time, Earth has sustained all with life. Through the planetary cycles of days and seasons, renewal and growth, you open your hands to give all your creatures food in the proper time. In your wisdom, you granted us a Sabbath, a blessed time to rest in gratitude for all that you have given a time to liberate ourselves from vicious cons consumption, a time to allow the land and all creatures to rest from the burdens of production. But these days, our way of living pushes the planet beyond its limits. Our demands for growth and our never-ending cycle of production and consumption are exhausting our world. The forests are leaching topsoil. They are leaching. Topsoil is eroding. Fields are not yielding. Deserts are advancing. The seas are acidifying. Storms are intensifying. We have not allowed the land to celebrate her Sabbath and earth to, is struggling to be renewed. During this season of creation, we ask you, creator of life, 
to grant us courage to observe a Sabbath for our home planet. Strengthen our faith to trust in your providence. Inspire us with the creativity to share what we have been given. Teach us to be satisfied with enough. As we proclaim a jubilee for the earth, send forth your Holy Spirit to renew the face of creation in the name of the one whom you have sent to proclaim your good news of love and fullness of life to all creation, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So good afternoon, everybody. I'm, I will introduce people to the season of creation. I'm sure many of you are very familiar with it already. It's an annual celebration of prayer and action to protect creation. And it runs from September 1 to October 4. Originally, uh, September 1 was proclaimed as a day of prayer for creation, World Day of Prayer for Creation or Creation Day by the uh, Orthodox Ecumenical Patriarch Dimitrios in 1989 and was embraced by other major Christian, mostly European churches in 2001 and by Pope Francis uh, for the Roman Catholic Church in 2015. It was also embraced, uh, it, it was also embraced by the um, the bishops of the Philippines in 2003. Many Christian churches started celebrating the season of creation, also known as creation time, between the date September 1 and October 4. October 4 is the uh, feast of the uh, St. Francis of Assisi. And St. Francis is widely associated not just in the Catholic Church, but throughout the whole Christian world with nature and for Catholics is the patron saint of those who promote ecology. Several statements from the past few years have called the faithful to observe this month-long season of creation, such as those of the Catholic bishops of the, Conf of the Philippines in 2003, which I already mentioned, the Third European Ecumenical Assembly and the World Council of Churches in 2008. In 2003, the CBCP, the, I think it was one of the committees, uh, the permanent uh, committee of the CBCP said the following. On September 1, 2003, the Catholic bishops of the Philippines issued a pastoral statement entitled Celebrating Creation Day and Creation Time. The first paragraph reads, Today, September 1, in many parts of the world, Christian churches are celebrating Creation Day. They have also set aside the period from this day to October 4, or the Sunday after October 4, as Creation Time. We wish to introduce this period to our Catholic faithful and acknowledge creation, that priceless gifts, gift of the almighty and loving creator who has made us in his own image and likeness. During this special period of creation time, we urge that our different liturgies celebrate the beauty and pain of our world, our connectedness to the natural world and then our ongoing struggle for social justice. We also were urge once again, the setting up of a care of creation ministry at every level of the church, of church organization. We strongly remind our government not to pursue short-term economic gains at the expense of long-term ecological damage. So this was 
uh, established in the, it was announced in 2003. As far as I know, it wasn't, it wasn't practiced that much. A big exception was the Diocese of Emos under Bishop Tagle. And uh, I remember hearing him talk about his experience as Bishop of uh, Emos. And he said that this program, the Care for the Earth program and the Time of Creation was what he was most as, uh, happy about in his time as the Bishop of, um, of Emos. I, I'm assigned in Malata Catholic Church. I'm, I'm no longer the parish priest, June, but uh, uh, we, we, we started around 2003 also, I think. But I'm not aware of any other places. I'd love if people know of places that have adopted this in their liturgies or uh, pa parishes that are, or dioceses that have done this. I think uh, Zambales last year uh, celebrated it. Okay, um, and this was a start of the, the Vatican then. Um, Pope Francis was just endorsed it in 2015, so that's five years ago. And um, there's been a lot of development since. In fact, mm -hmm. there's a, a document, I don't know if it's published yet in English, but it's an unprecedented interdicastral, that means the different departments in the Vatican, have issued a text on the fifth anniversary of uh, the encyclical Laudato Si. And the drafting process was led by the Secretary of State by coordinating the various different Vatican dicasteries. That's a big, that's a big breakthrough. And we are delighted to share that some from the, this, we got this notice from uh, GCCM. We are delighted to share that some key priorities were included and endorsed in the document. Most notably, the season of creation, yet another Vatican endorsement, and fossil fuel divestment. The first time it's endorsed in such an official Vatican document, apart from the Amazon Synod final document. And there are also a few, a few references to GCCM initiatives throughout the document, such as GCC, uh, just as Laudato Si animators, which we train in this country also, and we've trained some of your, the people from LICO, and uh, Laudato Si Generation, which is the youth arm of the uh, global Catholic climate movement. And uh, they were talking to us as the Philippine, the Laudato Si Filipinas. Thank you all for working on those initiatives in one way or another. So nice to see all of this featured in the document. And I know um, uh, Bishop Pabillo and I think maybe Julie Laiko has also been involved in the divestment campaign. So um, th this is the invitation then uh, letter that was issued by all the leaders uh, of the most of the Christian churches for this year. And the theme is the Jubilee year where we rest the land and we rest ourselves. During the season of creation, we join together to rejoice in the good gift of creation and reflect on how we care for it. This season offers a precious opportunity to pause in the midst of our day-to-day -day lives and contemplate the fabric of life into which we are woven. As the environmental crisis deepens, we Christians are urgently called to witness to our faith by taking bold action to preserve the gift we share. As the Zamist sings, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and all those who dwell therein. 
During the season of creation, we ask ourselves, do our actions honor the Lord as creator? Are there ways to deepen our faith by protecting the least of these who are most vulnerable to the consequences of environmental degradation? We invite you to join us on a journey of faith that challenges and rewards us with fresh perspectives, with a fresh perspective and deep bonds of love. United in our seer wish to protect creation and all those who share it, we join hands across denominations as sisters and brothers in Christ. During this season, we, will, we walk together towards greater stewardship of our place in creation. O Lord, my God, you are yourself with light as with a garment, stretching out the heavens like a tent. With you, we give thanks for the community of believers around the world that is bringing love to creation this season. And we praise the creator for the gifts we share, very great, you are clothed with splendor and majesty in God's grace. And then it's signed by a number of the churches. The, at the start, the ones who initiated this were the, um, was the, ortho, the Greek Orthodox Church, and they're the ones that get the prominent place here. Um, Pope Fran, they have been, actually September 1 is the new year for them, uh, it goes back to an old calendar, but it was a, a, a traditional time for them to think about and celebrate creation, uh, September 1. So there's the Archbishop of uh, represents of the Ecumenical Patriarch to the World Council of Churches, and then uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, the uh, Reverend Justin Welby, and then from the dicastery on uh, promoting human, integral human development, there's Cardinal Peter Turkson. And then the others, many others have signed as uh, Secretary of the World Council of Churches, uh, the World Communion of Reformed Churches, the General of the World Evangelical Alliance, um, the Lutheran World Federation, uh, General Secretary Act Alliance, I'm not too sure what that is, and um, the General Secretary of the Conference of European Churches. So it's, it's a, something that is gathering uh, a lot of support. And um, I'd like to uh, share with you now um, uh, a, a video of Pope Francis inviting us uh, for this year. I hope it works. <laughs> Sorry, but it doesn't work well as a PDF, so I have to go to the PowerPoint. Oh, yeah. Can you put full screen?
so that's that's a wonderful thing that was issued by by the actual dicastery. But this is all part of um the church, this the church um embracing creation as central to our expression of our faith and there was um yeah have you got is there any more slides being that's the end of it father the slides yeah that's the end of your presentation i thought i had some slides about the the new initiative that's been launched by the um by the all the dicasteries it's a it's a it's Wala. a plan, a seven-year plan, I think, too. Wala po, Father, sa pinadala niyo sa akin. <laughs> okay, sige. Ano? Okay, but, so that's my presentation. Basically, um, it's something within the Catholic Church that started as a grassroots movement. It started as an ecumenical uh, movement, grassroots also, I think, and uh, has gradually... Uh, you know, gained momentum, and you know, with the issue of Laudato Si, has um, has really now become kind of it, it becomes very central to the uh, practice of our faith, you know, to to what we believe and how we are to behave for the future. So I'm very happy to um, uh, uh, present this to to the Laico, knowing the vast network and the resource of faith that is there right throughout the right throughout the country and um maybe you will be talking about this later being the you know that uh we we are preparing uh liturgies uh, for the for the season and we hope that dioceses adopt them so you might help out your in in your networks, get them to uh, to promote these liturgies uh, for the time for this time of the season of creation. I'll finish there, Mars. Uh, thank you very much, Father. Uh, now we can give the floor to Sister Bing. Uh, Brother Mars, Father John, can I interject before I bring in uh, Sister Bing? Yes. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, I, it would be nice if we could uh, stress that in in the celebrations that we have in the church, we have a Lent, we have a, an Advent season, and that we have a Lenten season, wherein the whole church focuses all its liturgy and all its efforts and spirituality and and meditations towards a particular mystery. Yeah. And this is an attempt to come up with with a season also that will allow us to focus on creation. Mm -hmm. So it will be the Advent speaking about the coming of Jesus and coming in, uh, of the Lord in our life and let the, his saving power. And in the creation or the season of creation, it is really Jesus allowing us to become co-protectors and stewards of creation. Uh, but I can be wrong. So you can correct me, well, Father that, John, that's, later. That's, that's perfect, June. And uh, it's something I didn't mention. There is, this is all part of a, a deeper movement, which is trying to, you know, as June mentioned, we have the major, we have the major uh, seasons of creation uh, are of, of liturgy and worship in our, in our church. Christmas, Advent and Christmas is about the incarnation. And then um, Lent and Easter and Pentecost is about uh you know, redemption and mission. But actually, there's no time during the year that we explicitly um, acknowledge God as creator and worship God as creator. And I think it was St. Augustine said, you know, you don't really believe something unless you pray, unless it's part of your prayer, you know. So uh, it, there's a move to get this to be an official an official part of the church calendar, but that's a very, that can be a very difficult thing to do. And maybe the Bishop, 
maybe it will take a bishop's conference. Maybe, you know, the CBCP should could be the, the pioneers in proposing this, you know. There's a saying, though, it's, it's hard to talk to liturgists, you know. Uh, you can... <laughs> You know the difference yes. between a liturgist and a terrorist? <laughs> you can negotiate with the terrorist. But <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Father John. Okay. And right. there's also a saying that you cannot love what you, not, you do not understand. And you cannot understand what you have not learned. And you cannot learn what you are not taught. Okay? And that is why the GCCM now is here to teach us. And Sister Bing now will bring us to a to the next step on how, what preparations are they doing so that the dioceses, yung mga diocese and council presidents dyan, organizations and can talk to their parish priests or, the, or their uh, uh, ministry of the, uh, uh, the environment and say, Father, there are so, there's so much to be done in this season of creation and we can start with one step or two as we begin our season of creation. So... Sister Bing, we turn over to you the, uh, the, the Zoom for your uh, presentation. Thank you, Brother June. Okay. Kita po? Yes. Okay. So I'll be um, sharing with you the local campaign of the Global Catholic Climate Movement Pilipinas this season of creation 2020. We have been uh, facilitating the celebration of the season of creation since um, 2016. So this is our fourth year that we are uh, again trying to uh, promote um, the, the celebration so that it will we will have a wider celebration this year especially that we are also celebrating the special anniversary of Laudato Si and as um, June mentioned already uh, Kanina um, I think I attended one webinar of the global Catholic climate movement in the international level and uh, Bishop Turk, uh, Cardinal Turkson was one of the a resource person and he mentioned there that this um, special celebration of Laudato Si will be prolonged for uh, five years or seven years if I remember it right. So not only one year um, celebration of the special anniversary of Laudato Si. So um, our main campaign is to bring the natural world into our liturgies and to bring our liturgies in the natural world. We were very struck by uh, Sean McDonough's, um, uh, what do you call this, one of his statements in, in the webinar that he gave us when somebody asked about the use of language in our liturgies. And um, so he, he really challenged us to try to promote this campaign of bringing the natural world into uh, our liturgies and the liturgies into the natural world. And also, um, as Father John already mentioned and uh, Brother June, we are also campaigning for the inclusion of the season of creation into the church liturgical calendar, that it be institutionalized. So this campaign is also in relation with uh, the GCCM in the international level, and we are also uh, following it in our activities, that all our activities will be in line with this framework. Uh, we believe that the transformation happens from the internal to the external. So we are promoting this threefold framework of transformation. It must always begin in the spiritual dimension. And in the words of uh, Pope Francis in Laudato Si, that we need to undergo ecological conversion. And if that happens, this must be reflected in our lifestyle. And we are particularly uh, giving emphasis on leading by example, that we as individuals and as collective will uh, radically 
act so that our carbon footprint will be uh, reduced radically. And then, hindi siya pwedeng sa individual lang, but we have to go out to the public sphere. That's why we are active in raising our voices for bold policies. Uh, isa po sa mga uh, good news na nais namin ibahagi ngayon, last week, we just received John Dean uh, and myself attended the um, special uh I'm, I'm not sure if it's a hearing or a meeting, a meeting of the special committee on the declaration of um, climate emergency in the country that's in the Congress. And John received an email from the Congress sharing with us the resolution uh, that has been made. Uh, sa pangunguna po ni uh, Legarda, siya ang head ng committee. So, uh, climate emergency has already been declared by the House of Representatives. So, uh, it is also our plan during the season of creation to come up with a statement of appreciation at saka yung talagang Ay, ano natin, na yung pulisiya na yon ay hindi lang sa salita, kundi talagang ma-implementa ng ating uh, pamahalaan. And then it is also very much, so, with the GCCM threefold framework is uh, our promotion of the Laudato Si Pledge, which we started in 2017. Uh, dumating po dito sa Pilipinas ang founder ng GCCM, si Tomas Insua, to launch the campaign ng Laudato Si Pledge. So dito po siya sa Pilipinas ni Launch. And the Laudato Si Pledge uh, says, Answering Pope Francis' urgent call in Laudato Si, I pledge to pray for and with creation. So that's the spiritual dimension of it. And then live more simply the lifestyle dimension and then the public sphere dimension, advocate to protect our common home. So, sa kampanya po namin ito, ito yung mga strategiya namin. So, first strategy is to work with CBCP and CBCP NASA. So, ano po yung aming target in working with the CBCP? Una po, pag-alaman namin na sa July ito magkakaroon ng meeting yung CBCP Council. So, if it's possible that uh, GCCM and CBCP NASA can sit uh, in the meeting and then uh, share whatever we have already prepared, yung package po na hinahanda namin, including the liturgies to the CBCP Council, and then encourage them to take the lead to include, to institutionalize so a uh, season of creation and make it part of the Catholic Church's liturgical calendar. So ito po yung binabanggit kanina ni Kuya June. So, in 2017, when Tomas Inso was here, he was sharing to us na possibly daw po yata ito pag may isang conference of bishop na mag-indurso nito sa Vatican. So, we are hoping that uh, the CBCP will be that conference of bishops that will initiate this. So, hopefully, in the um, mga a few years from now, it will really be a part of our liturgical calendar kasama yung uh, Lenten season at saka uh, Advent season. And then, specifically to endorse the celebration of season of creation in all the Philippine dioceses and parishes starting this 2020. And then promote our campaign, which is bringing the natural world into our liturgies and bringing our liturgies in the natural world. Last year po, nag-attempt na kami in partnership with uh, CBCP NASA, we sent a uh, lit uh, parang isang ba bawat diocese, we sent a USB. Uh, nilagay namin doon lahat ng mga resources namin, liturgies na pwedeng gamitin. Pero hindi po yata masyadong pumatok. <laughs> so um, nahirapan din kasi parang two weeks before na lang ng uh, September 1 na na-email siya. So we were not sure kung nakarating. And then may ibang dioceses po na um, hiwalay yung social action at saka ecology ministry. 
So, in, minail siya sa, pinadala siya sa social action, hindi nakarating sa ecology ministry. So, mga ganong issues. So, tinitingnan po namin ngayon, in-explore namin yung posibilidad na ibigay na lang po sa CBCP mismo, tapos si, uh, kung ma-okay yan yung mga liturgies, ay matulungan po ang GCCM Pilipinas sa pagpapadala nito sa mga dioceses such that they will really be able to use them or uh, if not use them as is, they can uh, at least adapt it or revise it according to the context. But uh, we will make uh, all these materials, especially the liturgies, in, uh, we will be translating it and ongoing na po ang translation sa, ng mga natapos ko ng liturgies sa Hiligay non, Tagalog at saka Cebuano. And then uh, promote also, uh, so that's it. And then lastly, we will be connecting with the bishops who signed the Laudato Si Pledge. So nung uh, nilaunch po namin ang Laudato Si Pledge campaign nung 2017, ang president po ng CBCP ay si uh, Archbishop Sok Villegas pa. At uh, nagkaroon din po kami ng pagkakataon na i-present yung pledge sa mga obispo at marami rin pong mga obispo ang nag-sign. So we will be following them up and this is um, time to encourage them to really promote the celebration of the season of creation. The second strategy is to work with the dioceses and faith-based organization. At dito po pumapasok ang uh, CBCP LICO. So we are coordinating also with CBCP NASA to uh, have uh, an endorsement letter from the president of CBCP. And uh, kung kailangan pa, pati yung... Uh, director ng CBCP NASA. So we will uh, see kung, kung hindi naman kailangan, okay na si Archbishop Valles na mag-endorse, then uh, yun na lang po. Tapos, hiniling din po natin namin ang endorsement letter from CBCP LICO and other commissions. And we are very appreciative and grateful, Bishop. Bishop Abinio, agad-agad, meron na. June pa lang, meron na tayong endorsement from uh, our beloved Bishop uh, na, na inyong uh, advisor or I don't know kung ano ang tawag ninyo sa CBCP Laika. So thank you po Bishop for the endorsement letter. Uh, and then we will also be asking video messages if possible from all the bishops in all the dioceses of the Philippines kung kayanin. So we will be uh, kagaya nung Laudato Si Week yung mga bishops na nagpadala ng video message Uh, nila, linay namin yun, uh, pinos sa Facebook. Ang, ang pinakamaraming likes yata sa Bishop ng Dipolog, nasa thousands, thousands na ang like niya. <laughs> ang, so anyway po, so we will be doing that again. And then we will, as I have said already, we will provide resources for the celebration of the season of creation. So we will be asking uh, CBCP NASA to help us disseminate these resources and we will be creating FB fan page so that the, the dioceses can register their activities during the season of creation and that uh, our organization or our network can amplify these events. And then uh, we also have um, I think around 20 dioceses na na nabigyan namin ng training ng Laudato Si Animators training on the deep journey into Laudato Si. So we are trying to activate them. Uh, we will be meeting them. Nagkaroon na po kami ng isang meeting yung cluster ng DOPIM at saka Kabustam. Nag-meet na po sila. So uh, we will also uh, schedule our meetings with the uh, Tagalog areas. And then yung Eastern Visayas, meron din po tayo na sa Lawag at saka sa La Union, San Fernando. So Ilocano, Tagalog at saka Visaya and Bandang Mindanao. Yan po yung mga Laudato Si Animators namin na na-train na hopefully uh, with these meetings matulungan nila ang GCC and Pilipinas 
in the promotion of the season of creation in their respective dioceses. If they can come up also with uh, their own activities, they can initiate activities in their dioceses, that would be really great. is to work also with uh, the religious congregation. So we are working with AMRSP. So we will be sending uh, letters to all the religious congregations and we will also share the liturgies that we are creating. And then we will also be asking them to register their events if they have events during the season of creation to our FB page and we will include them in the uh, calendar of the season of creation that we are preparing and then uh, to partner with GCC and Filipinas in encouraging the CBCP to take the lead to include season of creation in the church liturgical year para po yung mga susunod na taon hindi na natin ito pinupromote ng ganito ka Ano, dahil bahagi na siya kagaya ng Advent season at Lenten season ng ating taunang pagdiriwang. So hopefully, pangungunahan po ang movement na yan ng CBCP natin. The next strategy is to, uh, ito yung resources, prepare resources for the season of creation. So we will be compiling digital resources and make them available in different languages. At least ngayon ang meron na English, Tagalog, uh, Hiligaynon, and Cebuano. So kung meron po kayong kakilala na pwedeng mag-translate sa Ilocano o sa Bicol, hindi po Bicolan ako, hindi ko masyadong gagap ang malalim na Bicol na pagdating sa liturhiya. So hindi ako nag-volunteer. Uh, so we will appreciate kung meron po kayong kakilala. At least kung may Ilocano rin tayo at saka Bicol, then uh, maganda po na magawan din natin ang paraan yan. So, ito po yung, so yung po yung apat na strategia. Now, I would like to share with you the activities that we are preparing for the season. So, sa September 1, uh, we have three events. Yung launching of season of creation, that's, that will be taken care of again by the Laudato Si Gentilipinas, kagaya ng Laudato si Week na very alive talaga ang launching nila. At dyan po natin i-la-launch. Uh, all the activities will still be online activities. Kasi hindi pa po natin siguro pwedeng gawin ang kagaya ng mga ginagawa the previous years where we gather in Luneta, in the Quezon City Circle for the September 1 celebration. So um, yung launching event po, Ito po i-schedule pa natin ang kung ano mga oras. But we are proposing na yung Holy Eucharist, which uh, we will be inviting again. Inulat na dyan kung ano daw nakasulat. <laughs> Yun na. So we, we will be inviting Bishop uh, Pabilio to preside the Holy Eucharist. And that's uh, Creation Day, both Creation Day and World Day of Prayer for the Care of Creation. The theme for the entire season of creation is a jubilee for the earth. So that will be the theme of the liturgy on September 1. And then we also have the beginning of the six-week virtual walk for creation. So that rati kasi, yung mga previous year, September 1, we celebrate it with a mass also, Holy Eucharist, followed by a walk for creation. So last and uh, nung first year po sa Luneta, we had about 5,000 people gathered in Luneta. Ang nag-preside po sa misa si uh, Bishop, uh, si Cardinal Tagle. And then we had the first walk of creation. Ang theme natin is the moments of creation from the Big Bang until the present uh, time. And then the second uh, year, we celebrated it in... Quezon City, sa Christ the King po, si Bishop, hala, nalimot ako kung sino. <laughs> so, but anyway, we had a Tagalog liturgy there and we had a walk again, uh, highlighting several, I think, nine stations or seven stations of the different issues uh, sa ating uh, bansa, uh, ecological issues. 
So ngayon, at tapos last year po, ang tema natin is Web of Life. We really had a very um, celebratory walk for creation the Quezon City Circle. And there were, there were also about 5,000. Nung second po, bumaba ng 3,000, umabot ulit ng 5,000 nung third year. So ngayon, uh, virtual walk lang po tayo at yung uh, Eucharist din po natin ay online. And we are uh, recommending again, uh, kung okay po kay Bishop Tabilio at saka sa TV Maria, na gaganapin po ito sa Malati Church. And then, uh, doon po sa six weeks na sites of struggle, ito po yung mga bibigyan natin ng uh, i-feature natin. Sa first week, ay yung kagandahan muna kasi creation day ang September 1. So yung kagandahan muna ng creation. So ang i-feature natin could be the eight wonders of the world or the eight wonders of the Philippines. So parang magjo-journey tayo pero virtually. And then uh, ito yung mga na na identify na ng mga sites of struggles na i-feature during the next uh, Tuesday. So this will be every Tuesday. Coal fire powered plants, places of extractive industries, reclamation areas, Sierra Madres, and then loss of biodiversity. But we will still finalize this. These are still mga suggestions, but more or less it will uh, parang look like this. So uh, other activities are the 40-day season of creation journey. So bukod po doon sa virtual walk, ang, ang ano pala ng virtual walk, merong, uh, merong scriptural text, tapos uh, Laudato Si text, and then we will go to the different uh, sites of struggles sa video yon together with the cruise ng Sierra Madre na nasa Malate ngayon. So i-video din para kas parang kasama siya sa paglalakbay. And then reflection and prayers. At hihingi natin yung uh, participation ng mga nanunood online sa Facebook na, that they prepare an altar and then prepare some candles such that doon po sa prayer time, pag-inaayon uh, na yung mga prayers and then yung um, action plans or uh, uh, parang suggested points of action na pwedeng gawin in solidarity with those communities na nandun sa mga sites of struggle, they will light the candles. So, ganyan po ang, ang hubog, ang shape ng virtual walks. Then, yung 40-day season of creation na maya i-discuss ko will happen from September 2 to 11. At uh, may, may celebration of the Holy Eucharist po tayo and I'm preparing also liturgies for the six Sundays of the season of creation. And then on September 21, which is International Day of Peace, we uh, schedule the Interreligious Ecumenical Day of Prayer. And then September 26 is Save Sierra Madre Day, so we will also highlight that during the season of creation, especially with the issue of Kaliwat Dam. And then between October 5 and 10, ay, uh, magkakaroon din tayo ng isang araw na kasi nung Laudato Si Week, sinabay na namin ang IP prayers dun sa interreligious. Eh ngayon, uh, since ang October din po ay uh, IP month, maganda na mas maraming IP ang makaparticipate. So sineparate po natin. And uh, Tony Abuso of CBCP ISIP ay tinutulungan po tayo sa, sa paghubog nito, pag-shape nitong activity na to. Uh, ang sabi kanina ni Father John, Ang season of creation ay sineselebrate natin from September 1 to October 4. Pero dahil dito sa Pilipinas, we are also celebrating this year, the year of ecumenism, interreligious, uh, at saka IP. Then we decided to extend the celebration until October 11, which is the IP Sunday, uh, starting this year. So taon-taon, Instead of culminating our activities sa uh, October 4 or the Sunday nearest October 4, i.e. Um, 
kakulminate natin siya lagi sa kung ano tumapat. I think it's always the second Sunday of October ang IP Sunday. So we will start that uh, tradition this year. So, yung 40-day season of creation is only a 10 to 15 minutes na video material na ipiprepare din po ng Laudato Si Jen Pilipinas. Ang main reference po natin is Manny Bautista's book entitled Living Laudato Si. It's like a retreat uh, material na every day for 40 days Merong, ang framework niya, meron siyang ino-offer na daily team. Tapos, uh, baka yung iba sa inyo, nabasa na rin ito. Tapos may laudato si text, reflection, prayer, and action points. Uh, Ipa-facilitate lang po ito ng laudato si Jen Pilipinas. But we will be um, releasing a matrix kung saan makakasign up ang mga. So baka po... Um, marami sa si, uh, laiko organizations ang um, willing. So, uh, except lang po yung Tuesdays kasi i-integrate na siya doon sa virtual walk. So, yung ibang days, kung, kung six virtual walks yon there are 34 days na open sa mga interesado na organisasyon to take care of that. So, ibibigay namin yung team, yung Laudato Si Text, Reflection, Prayer, Action, na nandun na yan sa Matrix. Magsasign up po kayo dun sa Matrix kasi ang last column is the uh, GCC and Pilipinas Partners, Assigned GCC and Pilipinas Partners. So, um, ang syempre, yung tema at saka yung Laudato Si Text, we will take them as is. Pero yung reflection, prayer, at saka action points, ay pwede nyo naman pong i-revise kung depende kung sino yung naka-assign. Basta wag lang po talayo ang reflection doon sa, sa team natin. You can either, so okay na to sa amin, so yan na lang ang gagamitin. Pero kung medyo inspired kayo to uh, revise the reflections or add more prayers and then action points na pwede nating i-offer sa mga nanonood sa mga viewers natin as long as 10 maximum na po ang 15 minutes na video material natin and then uh, ito po yung mga identified puro obispo po gusto namin ang mamuno sa mga uh, holy celebration of the holy eucharist so other identified bishops to preside the holy eucharist on September 6, 13, 20, and 27, I si Bishop Rolando Triatirona kasi from the very beginning po, lagi siyang nandyan sa GC, ang support sa GCC and Pilipinas. I think two anniversaries ng Laudato Si ay siya ang aming presider din. And then be, either Bishop uh, Colleen Bagaforo or Bishop uh, Jerry Alminasa. And then either... Archbishop Romulo Valles or Bishop uh, Virgilio David and then Bishop Rex Alarcon sa Youth uh, Commission kasi very active ang uh, Laudato Si Jen Pilipinas at ang co-coordinate, dalawa ang coordinators namin, yung isa ay ECY EC staff, si Nico at saka yung uh, ano rin sa Kiro. So, para to, to as our um, way of thanking also ECY for um, the gift that Nico is bringing to Laudato Si Jen Pilipinas. We really, isa sa mga preferences namin si Bishop Alarcon. And then October 4, uh, tinatarget po namin si Bishop Onesto Ong Choco kasi malamang po since this is the feast of uh, the feast of St. Francis, Usually, mayroon pong celebration din ang mga Franciscans doon sa San Pedro Bautista. So kung willing sila na silang mag-host ng online celebration, then sako po iyon ng diocese ni Bishop Ong Choco. So kaya po siya ang nilagay namin dyan. And then October 11, which will be the culminating activity, ang preference din po namin syempre ay yung uh, head ng commission si Bishop Valdimo. Pero kung mahina po ang signal doon sa Bontok at hindi kakayanin, ang sabi po ni Tony ay uh, baka uh, anyone from uh, another bishop from the IP Commission. Ito po 
po yung mga tema ng pre-prepare kong mga ano uh, liturgy. Um, uh, ang pamamaraan ko po ng paggawa ng liturgy ay, of course, I read all the readings of the day and then pray over it and ask wisdom from the Spirit to give me kung ano yung magandang tema. Tapos kung ano yung lumabas na tema, ay inuupuan ko po para lahat ng prayers ay nakadaloy doon sa tema pero na-integrate din ang creation. Um, yung, yung cosmology, no? Nang, um, uh, yung kwento ng paglikha. At saka yung sa mga prayers din, laging mababanggit yung mga ecological issues natin, care for our common home. May mga nilagay din po akong mga excerpts sa Laudato Si sa ibang prayers. Especially po sa sa uh, invitation for communion, there's a very, very profound uh, text from the Salaudato Sea na magandang namnamin during the entire season of creation. So, nilagay ko po siya doon sa, from September 6 hanggang October 11. So, yung September 1, nabanggit ko na po kanina, ang tema is Jubilee for the Earth. So, the whole liturgy flows into the theme. Then, September 6 po, I love of neighbor. And uh, ang ano po dito is to uh, put into our consciousness yung pag-expand ng circle natin ng neighbors to include all the rest of creation. All our fellow earthlings are also our neighbors. Uh, and then, sa step... team po na uh, for one as the world day of prayer for creation ay uh, meron pong inilabas si Pope Francis na letter na show mercy to our common home uh, noong September 1, 2016 at dun po sa letter niya uh, nagdagdag po siya ng pangwalong component sa seven, sa seven corporal works of mercy at saka seven spiritual works of mercy. So for both seven seven, nagdagdag siya ng number eight which is care for our common home. So since ang mga readings po sa September 13, ang overarching theme niya is mercy. So that's the theme I came up. Live in God's mercy. That in particular care for our common home. Uh, parang yung pagsasabuhay natin ng eight corporal work of mercy of of mercy and which is also eight for a spiritual work of mercy then september 20 po ang overarching theme is the that god is just in his ways and generous to all so dyan din po dadaloy ang ang liturgy tapos ko na po yan, September 1, 6, 13, 20, and they are now being translated to different languages. I'm halfway September 27, and hopefully, pag end ng month, yun ang deadline na binigay sa akin, natapos na po hanggang October 11. I already have a theme for October 4 and 11, Take Care of God's Vineyard. Kasi yung... yung, yung uh, readings naman po ay halos lahat tungkol sa vineyard. So, so ang vineyard dyan is earth, our common home. Nadadaloy din po sa liturhiya. Then, October 11 is about the wedding feast. So, celebrate. Tamang-tama po kasi that's the culminating uh, Sunday activity. So, ang tema po na uh, dada, pagdadaluyan ng mga prayers sa uh, sa liturhiya ay celebrating the feast of God's bounty in creation. So we will be sharing this to the city city uh, and and kung gusto nilang gamitin mas masisiyahan po kami. Pwede naman pong i-revise konti kung uh, hindi masyado <laughs> papatok but they're all there ready for use. Then other initiatives for coming back then. Yeah ay ito po, nangunguna po kayong unang nag-submit ng uh, activities ninyo 
in the entire week of September 19 to 26. So you will be celebrating the National Lady. The wedding. Uh, ilalagay po namin yan sa calendar of activities ng Season of Creation. Tapos, uh, ang Indigenous Peoples Month launching, pinafinalize pa po nila kung kailan ang launching ng, ng Indigenous Peoples Month. And then, CBC, PINAS, and BMPI will uh, come up with webinars on, on rights of nature, series of webinars. Ang... Um, AMRSP at Chaka Franciscan missionaries, and this is yearly, they celebrate, of course, the Feast of St. Francis, and they usually do a river cleanup somewhere in San Francisco, sa Frisco, Bautista. And then, uh, kanina po, nag-text lang ang Alianza Tigil Mina, uh, on either on the second or third week of September, they will be having a mining hell week. So, yan pa lang po ang mga nagbibigay sa amin ng activities, and, but we are still encouraging our partners to also organize activities based on their advocacy and campaigns for the season of creation. But we are giving a deadline, yung submission ng concept note nila, tapos yung mga activities na ilalagay sa kalendaryo natin ng entire season of creation. Uh, before the end of July. Para by August, nagsisimula na po tayo yung media and communication committee na i-drum beat yung mga celebrations. So, yan po. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sister Bing, at uh... As usual, we will be opening the floor at this time for uh, questions or uh, uh, other comments. Kung comments po, uh, kindly, or sabagay kahit question, kindly limit this to within one minute uh, so that there's uh, more time for the answers than the question or uh, sharing. So as usual po, I... Nakinig ako ng mabuti para makapagtanong ako ng uh, una o dalawa habang uh, kayo ay nag-iisip ng inyong mga uh, katanungan. Uh, Sister Bing, you mentioned... Brother Mars, uh, bago magtanong. Ah, oo. Oh. Brother Mars. Active na active bago, si Brother bago June. Bago magtanong, may, may, oh, may ididiin lang ako ha. Ididiin ko lang to that the CBCP Episcopal Commission on Lay Apostolate, ang lay ko, has already released the endorsement. At ito po yung sinasabi, pinadala na po namin, ulitin ko lang. Therefore, yeah, the CBCP ECLA LICO endorses to you the Season of Creation 2020 and encourage the different dioceses and councils of the laity, national lay organizations, and other lay institutions to promote and celebrate this in the, in the different dioceses parishes, and organizations. A more detailed program of activities and liturgical resources will be proposed and circulated soon. Ito na po yung narinig niyo yun, ha? By the GCC and Filipinas and partner organizations for our common use, which may also be properly contextualized in your respective localities. So, pag-aralan niyo po yan at magtanong tayo sa GCCM para mas mapaganda pa natin lalo as a contextualized event in your respective localities. Salamat sa GCCM and partner organizations. Thank you, Brother Mars. Ay, nako, maraming salamat, Brother June. Sinagot mo yung pangalawa kong tanong eh. So, okay na, andyan na, no? Uh, and it's uh, up to the dioceses as well as the uh, organizations who are part of LICO uh, para... Uh, mag-contact sa GCCM. Uh, Sister Bing, uh, you mentioned kanina na meron kang uh, uh, yung pinupush na FB page. Pwede bang malaman ano yung FB page na yon? Hindi pa po lang kasi um, right now we have the GCCM Pilipinas FB page at saka yung FB page ng Laudato Si Jen Pilipinas that we are thinking of uh, creating a new page na season of creation lang talaga para yung parang event page na ah, 
i-explore pa namin na para yung mga dioceses direkta nilang mailalagay doon yung mga uh, promotional materials din nila kung meron silang mga activities. I see. Kayo rin po bang nagmamanage ng Laudato si Page? Ang GCCM Pilipinas po kami ni John, tapos ang Laudato si Page, ako po kasama yung ilang mga youth. I see. So, uh, uh, what would be the difference? Para lang alam namin kung saan kami magpo-post o saan kami magko-coordinate, ano magiging difference ng binabalak po ninyong events page or the activities at saka yung existing ng Laudato Si page? Ah, yung, yung ano po, yung Laudato Si po, hindi po siya Laudato Si page, Laudato Si Jen Pilipinas page. Yung page po yan. Ng, ang Laudato Si Jen Pilipinas po kasi is the youth arm of I see. Okay. GCCM. So, ano naman po, kagaya nung ginawa namin nung Laudato Si week, isa sa mga kabataan nag, sa, na member ng Laudato Si Jen, yung mga teki talaga, sila nag-create ng uh, Laudato Si Week event page. At mm -hmm. doon nilalagay yung mga pub mats ng celebrations. Tapos, sinishare, na, sinishare din po namin sa GCC and Pilipinas page at saka sa uh, Laudato Si Jen Pilipinas page. And then other um, partners, other organizations also share them to their own FB page para mas marami tayong naaabot. So we are encouraging, pero we are encouraging na lahat sana ng activities mailagay doon sa event page mismo. And then mm -hmm. any organization can share that to their own FB page. So, uh, thank you po. Uh, yes, yes uh, we have a comment here from uh, Mark Sheran Leosala. Uh, thank you, Father John, for synthesizing the seasons of the church calendar with the uh, season of uh, creation. Um, so these are thanks. Now from Murphy Sar uh, Sarsonas, I suggest to tap the Commission on Worship per diocese to implement the season of creation kasi ang pinag-uusapan ay incorporation sa liturgy. Opo. Uh, kung nakita niyo po doon sa isa sa mga slides na ano ay uh, hindi lang po diba, si, uh, endorsement from CBCP, LICO, and other commissions. So we will also be connecting with the other commissions. And one of those commissions ay yung uh, worship, yung sa liturgy. Uh, yes, Bishop Pabilio, napakasipag ni Bishop sa pagre-raise ng hand. Yan, congratulations. Uh, unmute lang po. Okay na ako? Can you hear? Yes. Okay, okay. go ahead. Uh, this year, no, kahit na nasa pandemic tayo, is still the year of ecumenism, interreligious dialogue, and indigenous peoples. Uh, ngayon, nakita ko sa inyong presentation na season of creation, of course, mayroong bahagi doon na indigenous peoples. Pero parang wala akong nakita na ecumenism at interreligious dialogue. Uh, sana maisama din natin because the care for our common home, it's a common home. It's not only among us Catholics. No, Pero sana, po, Bishop, may, may ilagay din sana sa kasama natin, may, may celebration na kasama ang mga ibang mga churches, saka yung mga Muslim. Kailangan din yun. Po, Bishop, baka hindi nyo lang po napansin, sa September 21 po, we will be having a, an inter-religious and ecumenical prayer. Um, nagawa na po natin yan nung Laudato Sea Week, so we already have connections with the different uh, the, uh, faith. Uh, meron po tayong connection na sa Uni Harmony. Tapos may last time merong nagdasal yung Muslim. Puro to mga pre-recorded ano nila prayers. Muslims and Buddhist and Hindu. Uh, so ngayon po kasama po ulit natin sila. Kagaya nung baka hindi nyo po na nasundan lang. Sa isa sa mga slide po nabanggit ko yon 
Ah. Ang, ang kwang ko kasi, I'm interested sana to know, ano ba yung mga initiatives din na ginagawa ng ibang Christian churches? Ano bang initiatives din na ginagawa ng mga Muslim para kung makakuan, makasama tayo sa kanila? Opo, pwede naman po kasi ang... Ang committee po doon sa interreligious ano yung app na magshift ng activity for interreligious at saka ecumenical activity kung meron pa aside from prayer ay uh, sila po ang magshift din ng kung paano ang iniisip po kasi una kagaya lang ba nung Laudato Si Vic na prayer o susubukin ba natin na isang uh, parang i-spread out siya sa isa bawat linggo tapos isang linggo we will feature alitawa uh, yung Hinduism uh, maganda po yung suggestion nyo Bishop na aside from prayer lang ay magkaroon din ng um, uh, malaman din natin ano yung mga inisyatibo nila so ipapaabot ko po yun sa susunod we are meeting weekly so nasa proseso pa naman po. Yung ni-report ko po ngayon ay kung ano na yung shape niya as of June 26. Pero every meeting po kasi may mga uh, pumapasok na suggestion. So papaabot ko po yung inyong ano, sa next meeting na para ma-take into consideration ng committee para sa interreligious and ecumenical na bukod sa prayer lang baka pwede rin idagdag na i-feature din ang mga uh, ecological initiatives na ginagawa na ng ibang grupo. Thank you po. Well taken. Yes, uh, Mars. Uh, Father John, go ahead, Father yeah, John. Uh, you know, actually, sa totoo, we're only starting our... It's only this year that we've actually made contact with the other... with uh, the... Um, interreligious at saka indigenous so it it, it 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 would be good that's something to develop like it's hard to know who do you talk to you know it's very hard to know who to talk to for muslims and who to talk to for um hindus and and so we we hope we're we're making contact now with the episcopal commissions as well and hopefully this will this will develop no but pero maganda yung i mean it's it really is tamang sinasabi nyo that you know this is the, the the care for our common home is not a it's not a catholic or a christian thing it's a, it's a it's an inter it's a human thing but that the religious traditions are vital for this no Mars, may nabasa yes. ang tanong concern dito tungkol sa liturgies. Opo, isi-share po namin lahat ng mga liturgies when when it's ready. Uh, ang, paantay lang po na makompleto siya kasi para minsanan din lang po namin i ano kaysa sa patingi-tingi namin isi-share. We will share the whole package na yung uh, lahat ng liturgies from September 1 to October 11 with the translations. So you will be sharing it to the CBCP, um, ano, and then para makatulong. And also to our uh, organi part partner organizations. Of course, it will be uh, available for, for everybody who would like to have them. Uh, thank you. Uh, Sister Bing was uh, responding to several of the messages na dito sa chat. So just to acknowledge na nabasa kayo at uh, kasama kayo sa sagot na yon. Uh, Mark Sheran Liosala, uh, Leti Taberdo of uh, the Institute for Consecrated Life in uh, Asia. So yun din ang tanong sa liturgy. And uh, si Karen Lanipaw ay sumagot at nandito ang email uh, ng GCCM Pilipinas. Actually, napakadali lang. GCCM Pilipinas at gmail.com so please do get in touch uh, with them there and they will uh, uh, get back to you. No? Uh, si Jun yata gustong kumanta. Meron sinishare sa atin na hymn ng Laudato Si. I don't know kung kakanta. Siya sa September 13 yata. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, sister, you mentioned and you showed the slide featuring the six weeks. 
na yung unang week ay yung beauty, no? Beauty. Napansin ko po yung weeks 2 to 5, uh, at 2 to 6, lahat na yun yung mga sunod-sunod na problema. Um, okay naman yun kasi awareness tayo. Wala bang kahit isa man lang week na yung para bang ano bang meron bang proposed solution dito uh, o puro problema lang? Halimbawa, yung problema ng mining, yung problema ng uh, uh, ganito at ganon, uh, five weeks yun eh, na puro problema. Meron po ba tayong uh, solusyon na kahit isang week man lang? Magdidepende po yun sa naka-assign na organisasyon. Kasi po, ang, ang framework niya ay merong scriptural text, tapos laudato si text, reflection kasi papakita yung uh, kalagayan in reality sa ipapadala nilang video dun sa site ng struggles tapos um, prayers and action points kung paano tayo pwedeng tumulong o magpakita uh, na ating solidarity dun sa mga communities na nandun sa sites of struggle I see uh... Uh, Sige so, po. Ah, ibig sabihin kung ang topic na yun ay mining, pwedeng may kadugtong na solution within that same session. Ah, okay, okay. Hindi lang yung, yung problema. Pwede sa of struggle, hihingan namin ng video. Ipapakita nila sa video na isasubmit nila yung kalagayan tapos yung mga ginagawa rin ng communities hinggil dun sa kalagayan. Sige, pasensya na po kayo. Ah. Yes, Pero Father ba? John, go ahead. You know, the solution, um, there, I mean, masalimot yung mga problema, no? And you can get, you can get caught up in the issue. And then masalimot din yung response ng mga tao and the struggle that's going on there. But like the message of the, of Laudato Si and the message of the church is that ultimately this is a, um, a spiritual problem. Parang naligaw tayo sa ating pagtingin sa ating kapwang tao at saka kapwa sa, sa kalikasan, no? That our intimate, you know, the interconnectedness. So it's it's not that easy. There aren't just solutions at hand. It, it requires, you know, that we continue on with um, <clears throat> promoting ecological conversion, no? Yeah, uh, pasensya na kayo kasi I'm deeply invested into this uh, topic dahil uh, magde-defend po ako next month ng yung aking comprehensive paper. Yun ang pinaka-final, final, final exam ko ay uh, next month na po ang defense. Ang uh, title ng paper ko ay uh, Paradigms for Our Common Home at ang take-off point ay ang Laudato Si. So talagang uh, araw-araw kung ano-ano ang tungkol sa environment <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's why siguro ako ang maraming tanong dito but uh, brother June uh, Opo, with what kasi you want to... habang nakikinig po ako naiimagine ko na iba sa inyo naiintindihan itong concept na to from a parish point of view mm-hmm. yung iba naman from a school's point of view yung iba from a diocesan point of view or an organization or a religious congregation's point of view kasi iba-iba naman po yung magiging approaches natin in trying to address a, so, a certain issue and also per, by providing an answer. Kaya po bumabalik ako sa binanggit ni Father John that after the special anniversary year, the Vatican already uh, presented a multi-year action platform for the next seven years. And in those seven years, they will be in search for Uh, different laudato si families, laudato si parishes, laudato si schools, laudato si dioceses, laudato si business organizations, meaning wherever you are, you can do something so great and then just make sure that they are properly documented and shared with everyone. Para lahat tayo may ginagawa kasi hindi natin lahat masosolve yung sa Sierra Madre o hindi natin masosolve yung problema sa mining. Pero sa school natin o sa diocese natin may magagawa tayo. Kaya po exciting talaga itong uh, laudato si Sana. Ma- ma-perfect mo yung iyong uh, defense, Brother Mars. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Sister Bing. 
Inaantay lang po namin ang kasi ang dicastery on uh, promoting in, in the promotion of integral human development yata ang gagawa, uh, if I'm right, ng criteria kung paano yung Laudato si School, University, tapos at manggagaling po sa kanila ang parang certificate galing sa Vatican. So uh, kami lang po ang magpapadaloy siguro with the help of the CBCP and then uh, SEYAP sa mga schools, AMRSP sa mga re religious congregation. But the guidelines will be coming from the Vatican kasi sila ang mag-a-award, hindi po ang GCCM. Oo, parang signed yata ni Pope na, oh yung university mo is allowed that to see university. <clears throat> so kung kailan po yun, darating yung guidelines and everything, tsaka lang po namin din na ibababa sa lahat ng mga sektor that they're work working on it dun sa taas. Exciting na Pagkatapos po lumabas nung uh, Laudato si, nag-issue ang uh, CBCP ng uh, pastoral letter uh, at uh, mas detalyado pa ito. At uh, uh, because I, I heard, I don't know if it was here now or before, that there were plans of putting up a climate change desk or something in every place. However, meron na yung CBCP guidelines na yon na Laudato si desk in every parish. Uh, eh, sa pag-implement pa lang noon, kumbaga uh, people are already starting to uh, do that as the part of the movement for the environment, baka masyado na po maraming desk. Hindi naman sina sidestep pero yung mismong uh, concern ng Laudato Si ay nando na to put up a Laudato Si desk in every parish. Uh, yes, no, Father no. John. Uh, just with regard to that, um, the CBCP uh, came up with a, you know, the CBCP has a foundational document going back to 1988, what is happening to our beautiful land. It was the first bishops conference that addressed this topic when it wasn't it, in the uso no no, uh, and it's very foundational. Uh, but there's been two updates since, and the most recent one was last last year. And maybe we should include that in our in our resources, sister. Uh, you know the 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 updates of the um, in the two thousands, and then the updates of last year. But in, in the um, and maybe Bishop would remember this. Um, we we met with the NASA made a presentation asking the CBCP to declare a climate emergency. An emergency meaning, you know, if you have an emergency like your house is on fire, kahit na mahalagang ginagawa mo, you, you put that aside muna and concentrate on, you know, the crisis. So, this was proposed that there be that the, there be an inter, you know, that NASA and all the other commissions would get together and um, deal with the fact that our future is endangered, and that you know we come up with uh, now that has not been implemented, but it's it's on it's it's it's. Uh, it's 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 on writing. So, and I see it. Um, the the next seven years also will be a chance to really penetrate the church and all the different sectors of the church. And the 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 idea is, and this is the goal of GCCM also. GCCM is here not to build up itself. No, it's to empower the local church to kind of be a catalyst so that the local church can be more focused and uh, more empowered to, to, to implement these things. When the local church is that, we can, we can go into oblivion. No? <laughs> we have uh, five more minutes for anyone who wants to uh, have uh, additional inputs or questions for our guests. 
uh, I don't see any at the moment, so I will uh, make a follow-up question uh, or remark to that of Bishop uh, Pabilio a while ago. Na he said that uh, uh, the as this is the year of interreligious dialogue and IP, that uh, we should really be uh, able to uh, touch base. No? And uh, of course, this was responded very well na bago pa lang. So it is really something for us. Uh, gusto ko sanang dagdagan pa uh, kasi uh, when we talk of our common home, uh, this includes everybody. And I would like to ask uh, Father John, you mentioned that the objective of GCCM is really to uh, coordinate among the uh, Catholics or even among the, the Christians. Uh, is there any representative, uh, whether local or international, insofar as uh, worldwide discussions on climate change is concerned? I was able to attend last 2018, if I'm not mistaken, December yata, yung uh, Climate Change Commission of the Philippines. So it's a government uh, uh, move. No? Uh, so is there any linkage between the church effort and the non-church or the secular uh, efforts insofar as uh, climate change. Yun nga ang, uh, ano, dito lang sa pandemic, di ba? Ilang ulit si Bishop uh, Pabilio na hindi man lang represented ang church sa IATF. No? <laughs> eh, ang tanong ko, eh, dito naman sa issue ng climate change, may representation ba ang simbahan, whether locally or international? Kasi hindi ako aware. Eh. Well, that commission that you mentioned, uh, Archbishop Ledesma is uh, a key person on it, I think. And then uh, GCCM has been there, but NASA were there before us. So they were kind of giving us things to do and we said it would be better to stick with, to stick with NASA. But my own impression is, you know, they have sometimes, I've attended some of their things and they have a lot of, money so they can put on a big happening you know but i just wonder um what kind of focus you know how to maximize something like that i i, I agree with you but i'm the last one to ask on dealing with the dealing with the government and people like that i have very little patience you know so but there are other people who are very good at that and you know uh some of our partners like uh, Philippine uh, Miserior um, and uh, NASA are, you know, big on getting legislation passed on, um, on uh, you know, rights of nature and things like that. Um, Mark, yes, sister. Siguro um, worth sharing then at baka alam na ng iba na meron ngayong uh, withdraw from coal campaign. At ito po ay binubuo ng mga different CSOs at kasama din doon ang NASA, GCCM at saka yung diocese ni um, um, Bishop Jerry Almenasa kasi di ba maigting ang issue nila doon sa coal. So, uh, and they have been um, conducting dialogues with like BPI on divestment kasi ang... Isa, isa sa mga banko na kailang i-target natin sa usaping divestment o uh, pag-reinvest ng mga investments nila sa coal-powered um, energy ay sana, it, na necessarily naaalisin natin ang pera natin sa BPI pero to push them na ang ang pera natin ay ini-invest sa mga hindi makasira ng kalikasan, especially coal. So, I think uh, napaka-involved po ng simbahan. And Bishop Pabilio is already, has already been invited by the this withdraw from coal campaign to be part of that. Baka pwedeng magdagdag si Bishop Pabilio. And sa international level naman po, uh, I'm not sure, Father John, how many times in a year na nagkakaroon ng announcement ng mga uh, different uh, institutions, religious and faith-based organizations, 
ng mga nagda-divest na. So, like nung uh, Laudato Si Week yata, 40 institutions have uh, announced uh, their uh, to divest. Uh, yeah, we have uh, just one or two more minutes. We have a, a question here from Greg Atienza. Does the GCCM have a moonshoot that energizes or synergizes all? Ibig sabihin eh, uh, moonshoot eh, sa Tagalog, suntok sa buwan. <laughs> in, in English. <laughs> Ibig sabihin na target, a target that can uh, uh, kumbaga bring everybody together. No? Uh, example is uh, plant 1 billion trees or something like that. Meron bang ganong a concrete uh, something ang GCCM? You want to answer, Father John? Uh, so, to, my, to the best of my knowledge, so far, nothing like that. But many of our partner organizations are launching things like that. Our main focus up to now is really um, developing, you know, and this is, I think this is preparatory work. Our main focus has been ecological conversion. Mm -hmm. You know, really developing the faith so that uh, care for creation is seen as an essential, in the optional form of faith, and the building up of the local church. Not so much uh, Laudato Sea si committees, I think, or but it's um, care for the earth committees in in the diocese, and in that there is a plan. You know, there is, we're encouraging that to happen. And there are questions like, do you do it? Is it under, it's right now it's under NASA. And uh, it would seem that that's the best way to go also. In some, if it kung hiwalai, it means another, another bureaucracy, you know, but uh, as a, a, to, to, uh, it would be, you know, so we, we, that's where we're focusing. The other stuff, there are other groups that are good at this also, no? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so in terms of the slides, uh, the three parts, uh, the first part is ecological conversion, and then you have individual, how to apply it in my life, and then the public sphere. Uh, GCCM is really focused on the first part, the ecological conversion. So far, is, that's what we So far, yes, start. yes. But, you know, we're we're encouraging, and we have partners, and we... We, we amplify whatever is going on. By the way, Mars, you, you I'd like to, are you sharing a copy of your uh, thesis or? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's a comprehensive paper. It's not yet my uh, dissertation. Yeah. They're, they're going on at the same time. So I'll be defending both the them the next month. <laughs> wow. Good luck. But, uh, anyway. Uh, the Institute for Consecrated Life in uh, Asia is also sharing with us that they have that uh, educational uh, component. Uh, maybe it will fit into ecological conversion uh, that these are required courses for their students. And they have an ecological farm in Tanay uh, Rizal. Mm. Uh, so uh, as far as our program is concerned at the moment, uh, maybe we can have uh, one final word from you, uh, Father uh, John, and then uh, we will go into a short uh, intercession headed by uh, uh, our LICO board, care of uh, Mrs. Fatima Estacio, uh, before we will hear uh, final words from uh, Bishop Fabilio. So Father John, some final words. Uh, Sister Bing and then Father John. Siguro po mahalagang maintindihan po din ninyo na ang GCCM po is just a loose movement. So in terms of membership, very loose siya. So ang main thrust namin is to really promote Laudato Si in, sa, sa mga advokasya ng bawat grupo, especially makatulong sa pag-build up ng ecology ministry sa diocese. That's why we develop a um, training module na three days yung uh, Laudato Si Animators training on the deep journey into Laudato Si para yung mga na-train na animators can can help doon sa kanilang mga respective dioceses and parishes. Pero hindi talaga po kami nag-ano ng mga 
yung sinasabi niyong mga activities. So we we ang synergy na inaano namin is to convene all the different ano tapos i-amplify at i-suportahan at i-promote yung kanilang mga activities na. Like for example, yung SCA is a very active partner of GCC and Pilipinas. Meron silang programa na bambuhay. Yung pagtatanim ng mga bambus. How many thousands at uh, two or two million bambus. So, sinusuportahan po natin yan at saka pinupromote. Pero yung kami ang mag-organisa, we don't have the capacity because we are a very loose movement. So our role really is to convene all these different uh, advocacies na nandiyan na and then promote it and amplify it sa pag insert ng teaching ng Laudato Si. Tama ba, Father John? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, that our, our, you know, when we met Pope Francis, he said, I encourage you to empower the local churches to respond and to hear the cry of the art and the cry of the poor. So our, our main, one of our main focuses has been on training teams in, in Laudato Si. And we've trained in how many dioceses? 24 or something? More than 20 na po. And yung most active po ay yung Mindanao clusters. Yeah, yeah. Na they're really helping in their dioceses. So the, the idea is to multiply ourselves. Uh, and because... We're a staff of two, <laughs> and with two volunteers now. So, but we are so thankful to the Lord uh, for the, uh, there's a number of things that I'm very thankful for, is the, the openness of the church here, particularly the CBCP, and then groups like LICO that are so, you know, so it's so easy to talk to <laughs> on these things. I, we hear from, you know, we, we're an international, uh, on the international level. My God, we hear there are bishops' conferences. They've hardly heard of Laudato Si, you know. Uh, and, uh, in, uh, and, you know, people who still are into climate tonight. It's unbelievable uh, how, how, you know, blessed by grace that the Philippines is. And... There are many people are saying that the Philippines could have a special calling because of Yolanda and things like that, but also because of the leadership over the years here and the openness to these kind of ideas, that the Philippine church could have a very special role in the challenge that we're facing. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I'm, I, I know that LICO are, are, are very much part of that also. Thank you very much, Father. Uh, at this point, we'd like to call on uh, Mrs. Fatima Estacio to lead us in a short intercession. Inahanap ko po kayo sa screen. Eh. Yan, okay, I have unmuted you. I think you have to unmute. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Oh. As we close uh, our um, season of, uh, of the, today's uh, um, talk, uh, I'd like to share this prayer, uh, the prayer to care for our, our common home. Let us all say in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Father of all, creator and ruler of the universe, you entrusted your world to us as a gift. Help us to care for it and all people, that we may live in right relationship with you, with ourselves, with one another, and with creation. Christ our Lord, both divine and human, you live on us and died for our sins. Help us to imitate your love for the human family by recognizing that we are all connected to our brothers and sisters around the world, to those in poverty impacted by environmental devastation, and to future generations. Holy Spirit, give us wisdom and love. You breathe life in us and guide us. Help us to live according to your vision 
steering to action the hearts of all, individuals and families, communities of faith, and civil and political leaders. Try God, help us to hear the cry of those in poverty and the cry of the earth, so that we may together care for our common home. Amen. Mother of the perpetual help, Pray for us. Pray for In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Uh, Bishop Pabilio, some final words. Po. Okay. Uh, it's a pleasant surprise to know that GCCM has been preparing for this season of creation a long time ago. At siguro nakatulong din naman itong uh, pandemic, yung lockdown. No, to be able to bring up all these activities no, na ginagawa nila. Kaya maraming salamat po sa GCCM for all this preparation. At uh, you have a good uh, time lead. When before, ay mga one month before lang, ngayon, by the end of June, uh, halos matatapos na yung mga materials na nandyan. No, mayroon pa tayong July and August para ma-start natin sa, sa September. Kaya I think we have a good time lead in order to promote this materials that you have made. Kaya siguro makakatulong din kami at lahat na nandito na i-promote ito mga materials na ito kapag nagawa na. Just let us know. So maraming salamat po sa inyong uh, pagdalo. Siguro sasabihin ko na rin ngayon, uh, introduce ko na yung next topic natin next week. Mayroon din tayo uli. Ang topic naman natin is uh, about education. Isa sa mga pinaka-problema natin ngayon, paano ba yung school year? No, ang iba sa atin may mga anak, no, may mga apo na mag-aaral, iba sa atin mga teacher. So, hiningi po natin si Brother Armin Luistro, ang former Dep Ed Chief natin, no, to give us an overall idea about the educational uh, the, the, the the situation of education now, tapos anong iba't ibang pwedeng gawin. Ana mga yan ba ay home study ba yan? Yan ba ay online? Ano ba mga pros and cons yan? And I think we can discuss a lot about this. And it's a topic that really is near to the heart of everybody. No? Kasi talagang impacted ang education dahil po sa virus na ito. So yan po yung uh, kwa natin, spread the word, and uh, let us see one another again next week. Salamat po sa inyong lahat. Brother June Cruz, Mga panghuling uh, uh, announcements lang po, lahat po ay patuloy pa rin inaanyayahan sa National Laity Week, September 19 to 26, at uh, inaayos din po namin kung paano namin maihahatid sa inyo yan. Ngunit, meron pong mga pre-National Laity Week regional meetings po. Ang theme po ng National Laity Week ay Shema. Dinggin ang daing ng inang kalikasan, dinggin ang pagtangis ng maralita, dinggi ng tawag at pangako ng pagkakabuklod-buklod. So it's really hearing the cry of the earth, the cry of the poor, and rejoicing into, uh, together with the call of unity and ecumenism. So sana po ma mag magkasama-sama tayo sa mga darating pong mga regional meetings, lahat pa rin po tayo invited. Pero meron lang pong mga regions na nakafocus sa kanila yung mga topics para contextualize yung problema, yung issue sa lugar nila, ngunit naiintindihan po natin lahat. Muli po, Father John, at muli din po, uh, Sister Bing, fa, uh, Bishop Pabilio, sa supporta po ninyo, at saka sa LICO Board, ang ating presidente, at sa si Brother Mars, at lahat po ng mga uh, nandito ngayon, maraming maraming salamat po. Hindi na muna po ako kakanta sa hapong ito. Salamat po. <laughs> um, please uh, stay just for uh, one more minute at uh, meron tayong uh, screenshot, uh, photo op sa inyong lahat. May plugging ako para kay Father Jan at Sister Bing pagka uh, napuno na kayo masyado ang sisipag ninyo, ang trabaho ninyo at gusto ninyo magpahinga, iniimbitahan ko kayo sa aking uh, garden. Ayan. Para ma-enjoy ninyo yung nature uh, <laughs> uh, dyan sa garden namin ng mga bulaklak, sari-sari pong uh, bulaklak ang meron dyan. Uh, meanwhile, mag-smile po kayong lahat sa ating uh, photo op uh, for now, which are several screens kasi marami tayo. So smile, one, two, 
God is telling all of us right now, whoever you are, wherever you are, be still and know that I am God. So how will you recognize a true Christian? The true Christian is always grateful. The favorite word of the true Christian is thank you. Because for the true Christian, everything is a gift. When you die to yourself, forget yourself, and give yourself as a gift to another person, that, my friend, is when you taste authentic, permanent joy. This is Faith Watch TV, today's leading Catholic online TV. We at Faith Watch create all original content ranging from reflections from the church's bishops and priests, lessons and catechesis, testimonies of your favorite inspirational speakers, talk shows, and news programs. Powered by Areopagus Communications, FaithWatch TV aims to deliver to you the best and the latest inside and around the Catholic Church, neatly packaged for the Filipino Catholic. FaithWatch TV, today's leading online TV, your Catholic channel.